What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Alex and in today's episode of Sorted, we are going to take a little break from the mechanical repairs on the 2005 C55 AMG and instead we're going to move on to some cosmetics, more specifically how to make a nasty looking headlight like this one look practically brand new like this one. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I've restored hundreds of headlamps using a procedure I learned over a decade ago. I used to perform this service as a Mercedes-Benz dealership technician, and people would gladly pay the $250 the dealership charged because factory replacement lenses are not available for most cars, and entire headlamp assemblies can cost over $1,000 on higher-end vehicles. It's a tried and true professional method that works very well even with extremely yellow, faded, or discolored lenses. Now I've recently stepped up my headlamp and paint restoration game by using this, a ceramic coating made by a company called Avalon King. This is their Armor Shield 9, and if you aren't too familiar with ceramic coatings, you can think of this as a super tough clear layer or shield that anyone can apply on any car. You can ceramic coat the paint, plastic parts, wheels, glass, and of course, headlamp lenses. Ceramic coatings protect your car from UV damage and oxidation, which is exactly why your paint and headlamp lenses look dull and faded after a while. It also protects from acid rain, bird crap, sap, and anything else that normally ruins our cars, and it adds a glossy, almost wet look to your paint job. Now this stuff also does a hell of a job repelling things like water and dirt, making it so that your car always looks great even in between car washes or if it's a daily driver and you simply just don't wash it all that often. To show you its unbelievable hydrophobic capabilities and how water just glides right off of the surface, I've performed a little experiment. I'll be ceramic coating all of my cars, but I started with my Trans Am WS6 hood and headlamp covers. I just mixed up some blue food coloring with a gallon of water, and my kids just had to check this out. Take a look at how the colored water just cannot stick to the surface of the hood or the headlamp covers. I was actually able to dry this all off with just using a little bit of air pressure, which is so cool. Now, I don't drive this car in the rain, but after I coat the rest of it, I'm totally going to just because I can. The application is similar to waxing your car, but a ton easier. Just like when you apply wax, you want the paint to be clean, so if you have heavy scratches, you want to buff and polish it first. But after that, or if the paint is in good shape, you just wipe it with rubbing alcohol and then apply the ceramic coating. It's so easy, just a few drops on the provided cloth and applicator pad, and you just wipe it on. It's self-leveling and takes a few seconds to apply to each section. You lightly buff it off with a supplied cloth or a microfiber, and let it dry. This has a 9H scratch resistant rating, which is the highest rating ceramic coating can get. And if you use my link and coupon code in the description box, you'll receive $25 off making an entire kit that will cover a whole car or like 10,000 headlights only $45. All right, guys, let's get right into this and make the C55 headlamp look brand new. Now, first things first, you wanna work uh, in a clean environment. So I clean the headlamp and the entire area around it with some rubbing alcohol and a microfiber. Next up, we're gonna use some normal painter's tape to mask off the entire area around the headlight. Uh, and now I'll be doing a three-stage wet sand and a two-stage buff because these lenses are in rough shape. Uh, but if yours are just slightly yellowed, you can skip the wet sanding part and just buff them out. And in that case, you don't necessarily need to mask everything off, but it's always a good idea. Uh, I installed new lenses on the E55 since I had to remove the old ones to paint the inside chrome trim black. So I just simply surrender coated them without any sanding and it looks great uh, but with everything else I like to wet sand them because it takes about 10 minutes works really well and is actually a lot of fun also if your lights come out easier uh, that's an option as well but if not it's probably best to use like an old tablecloth over the entire engine bay engine compartment because this can get a little bit messy I still have a full detail to do uh, so I wasn't too worried after taping everything off, I just use a little bit of warm water uh, with some Johnson & Johnson baby shampoo because it really 
really uh, smells awesome and it offers some good lubrication and cleaning for the pad. Uh, and then we're going to start the wet sanding process uh, as you can see here. So I'm using an 800 grit sanding disc and this is a six inch disc that I have attached to an air powered dual action sander. But if you guys don't have any shop air, you can buy one of these things, an electric version off Amazon that does the exact same job, works really, really well. And also, uh, if you don't want to buy anything, you can just buy the sandpaper and do this by hand. It obviously just takes a little bit longer. Uh, so I will wet sand these with the 800 grit for about three to five minutes, stopping every 30 seconds to clean everything off and then re-wetting it every time. And this is what it looks like after you're done with the 800 grit stage. It looks kind of cloudy, but this means that you're actually getting somewhere. Uh, next up, we're using 1500 grit sandpaper. And we're going to do the exact same thing. Uh, we're going to wet it down, wet the pad down, wet the headlight down, wipe it down every 30 seconds or so to keep everything clean uh, and just apply a little bit of pressure. You don't need to go nuts here and make sure you cover uh, the entire area very, very well. Uh, and then again, clean it up uh, and go at it again. Now, if you lose a little bit of tape in the process, just put some more tape there so you're protecting your paint uh, and the trim around the headlight. Um, and this is going to be our final stage with the dual action sander. And then we're going to move on to uh, some hand wet sanding. So this is what it looks like after the 1500 grit. You can see we're kind of getting somewhere. It looks a little bit more clear. Uh, next up, we have a 2000 grit sanding sponge. And I do this all by hand. Uh, I do this for about five minutes as well. And I continually wet the headlight and I go up and down side to side. Um, and this is a very important step. This is right before the buffing process. So you want to make sure uh, you're really sanding down uh, the other grit sandpapers and making it look really smooth uh, and really clean. Now we're going to get into the buffing portion of the job. And I use a product made by Groitz. It's a medium grit uh, buffing compound. And I just use a three inch pad uh, on any electronic drill. And I got a really nice kit off of Amazon for 14 bucks that includes like 20 to uh, buffing pads and it even gives you the little chuck needed for the drill. So this works perfectly for headlights uh, and we're going to go at this for about three to five minutes as well. Just make sure you cover the entire headlamp. You don't need to go nuts with pressure here either. Uh, and then we're going to move on. We're going to do the exact same thing, but with a lighter uh, pad. And also I use a McGuire uh, kind of like a fine cut finish polish type of buffing compound. Uh, and this is a very important stage. I probably do this for a little bit more than five minutes, make sure it looks really good. I reapply uh, some of the compound a couple times because this is basically gonna be your final product uh, before you apply the ceramic coating. Uh, now, after you do this, you really wanna make sure that you wipe this clean with some rubbing alcohol because now we're gonna do uh, the ceramic coating and you don't want any leftover rubbing compound or wax before you apply it. Uh, now, this is just like the trans Zam hood. It's super easy. Just a few little drips on the supplied microfiber cloth and applicator and you just rub it on and you immediately wipe it off with a fresh microfiber. Now you let this dry for about four hours and that's it. You're done. All right, guys, final result time and the C55 is looking fantastic. This headlamp restoration turned out so nicely and that ceramic coating just adds like a whole nother level of clarity to the lenses. They look practically brand new. And speaking of brand new, the driver's side is actually brand new. The previous owner had the entire headlamp assembly replaced at the dealership. Uh, so the chrome on this one on the inside looks a little bit more new and shiny than this one, but overall uh, they look fantastic. And of course, I have another plane coming by. I apologize uh, for the noise guys, but I live right by O'Hare Airport uh, in Chicago. And this never ends. Every minute a plane comes by and tries to ruin my entire video. Um, but either way, uh, the car is looking great. Uh, you guys are probably going to restore uh, the headlights on your car that are of equal age and condition. So they'll come out looking identical. Uh, and I'm just really happy with this. The car, oh my gosh, it just looks so good now. Now I just got to get rid of those guys, which I have some new ones uh, on the way here shortly. And if you guys don't want to spend the hour or so to do the headlamp restoration, you can always just hop on eBay and get these sweet looking frog headlights like on my C43. Go away plane. This never ends. You guys hear how loud this is? All right, hang on.
Okay, I think I'm in the clear for maybe 30 seconds, so we're gonna wrap this up. But first, check out the before and after pictures. This is obviously before. Check out how disgusting this is. And this is after. This thing looks so good, and I can't wait to continue on with the cosmetic repairs and slight modifications to the C55. Uh, like, for example, I'll be taking the front bumper off, fixing the crack, getting that all freshly painted. We're gonna tent the windows. We're gonna replace the wheels. Then I'm gonna buff out the whole car, ceramic coat, everything, including the new wheels and this car is gonna look like a brand new C55. Now guys don't forget to check out the video description box. I'll have linked uh, everything you've seen in this video and there will be the link and coupon code to get $25 off of the ceramic coating. It's legit 25. Very easy to remember. Uh, with that being said I have to clean up my massive mess in the garage because as you guys probably can imagine I have to leave for work in about an hour which totally sucks. Uh, so if you guys like this video please please hit that thumbs up button, share the video. These things really help me out. Uh, and if you're new, consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to have you. To all my current subscribers, thank you so much for all the support. I hope that everybody has an awesome day and I will see you all in the next video. I was having such a good time ceramic coating stuff that I decided to try this stuff out on the $200 C43. I think this hood was rattle canned and they didn't use any clear. It looks absolutely horrible. I cleaned it up with some rubbing alcohol and then my three-year-old son came out to help me. He applied some of it and then I finished off half of the hood for him and look at the amount of color that is coming back. This actually looks halfway decent and it repels water just like the Trans Am hood does. Uh, it's kind of cool and it goes to show you that you can coat practically anything. Uh, that's all I got, guys. Have a good one. I will see you next video.